Valeria Granillo and her brother Trofim Modli peel potatoes. The pair is making pierogies to support a fundraiser for Ukraine, horrified by what they've seen and wanting to help. The siblings are from eastern Russia. Granillo moved to Canada 10 years ago. 18-year-old Modli arrived in December for a visit. Then Russia invaded Ukraine. Modli is supposed to report for duty with the Russian military on March 15th, but now there are no plans for him to do that. I was kind of happy for myself that I uh, left, left the country before this all started. I just wouldn't lose my little brother there. My mom didn't raise him for that. Yeah. They scroll social media for updates on the war. I'll definitely stay in Canada because uh, I, I don't want to get in trouble and uh, go, to war, go to war with Ukraine. I feel ashamed to say that I'm Russian and that makes me sad and it devastates me. Philip Soloviev, a 22-year-old from Moscow, came to Canada as an international student five years ago. Distressed over the war, he isn't sure whether he will ever return to Russia. I have family members there. I know and they know that we might never be able to see each other again. Soloviev has participated in rallies for Ukraine and he's donated to humanitarian efforts there. He's torn over what Russia means to him now. I don't have the desire to relate myself to that place. There are more than 620,000 Russians living in Canada. This expert in Russia and migration says what's happening now is reminiscent of the Cold War. This war harkens back to a time of Russia being closed off from the world. The siblings now lean on each other. They're concerned over their parents back in Russia. They're not accessible for us. If something were to happen, how would we travel there? As the conflict intensifies, they worry but are hopeful one day they can all be reunited in Canada. Julia Wong, CBC News, Edmonton.